Good afternoon and welcome to CTV Sports. I'm Dale Schwetz and we are live from the Grand Champions Polo Club. Field number one for the 2024 WCT Open. And we have, uh, well, a lot of polo for you this afternoon for the WCT. Of course, the WCT, Sonny Hale Legacy. And uh, this is a star-studded lineup today for the Open and our continuing action in the uh, 2024 WCT 8 goal, which will be a round robin where we'll have three teams. But at the moment right here in front of you, you can see as we have uh, the uh, Aurea Polo Team Armstrong Farm, and they are in the pink and white jerseys. And then we have Grand Champions Polo Club, and they are in the dark blue jerseys there, the, the dark blue with, uh, with I like to call it the Aspen Valley uh, blue, the uh, powder blue, light blue uh, numbers. And uh, let's go with the Grand Champions Polo Club team as they're getting their final words from our mounted official today. This is live from field number one with the Grand Champions Polo Club. We have number one playing the number one on one goal. Remember, these are the women's handicaps, the ladies, Megan uh, Manu Bay playing the number one, playing number two, Becky Schmeitz also on one goal. Playing the number three today will be Hazel Jackson, one of our 10 goalers, and then Millie Hine, who's uh, playing on eight goals today. But I want to congratulate Millie going to nine goals. Um, so congratulations, Millie, on um, on being raised. She will play the number four. The Aurea Polo Team, Armstrong Farm, uh, but, but a dual sponsorship there with Petra Sabertova. She'll play the number one on one goal. Tiffany Armstrong. And uh, she'll play the number two on one goal. And it looks like Kylie Sheehan and Hope Ariano. Uh, Kylie Sheehan on five goals. And, of course, Hope Ariano, to, uh, one of the top uh, American women players, the ten goals. We're going to line them all up here. We're going to go ahead and announce the players uh, properly as they are getting organized at the number one field and uh, preparing the ladies for their introduction. So. Looks like we're going to start from the right side and playing the number one. Put your hands together. Of course, you would say it's playing the number one. Petra Sabatova playing the number one. Playing the number two for Aurea Polo. Armstrong Farm would be Tiffany Armstrong. Playing the number three on five goals. Keep an eye on her. She is fantastic. Number five and five goals. Kylie Sheehan and playing number four. Ten goals. Hope Ariano, congratulations to Hope on all of her achievements over the last two years. And now Grand Champions Polo Club playing the number one, Megan Manube, playing at one goal, playing the number two. Also on one goal, Becky Schmeitz, who's been playing here in the eight, the six, eight, and the 12 at the Grand Champions Polo Club. And she plays at the Aspen Valley Polo Club. Playing number three, of course, the number one of our 10 goalers. Please put your hands together and welcome Hazel Jackson. And playing the number four, Millie Hine, who has been playing a high level of polo. Uh, this last year, she went from eight to nine goals. Playing on eight goals at the moment. But she will be nine, so congratulations to Millie and her family coming from the U.K. And she used to play polo, a lot of polo with her father and against her father. And uh, so it's nice seeing them. Remember, the Aurea uh, uh, Polo uh, Armstrong team, I'll call them Aurea Armstrong today. So you know they are in the pink and white, Aurea Polo being Petra, Savartova Armstrong, Farm being Tiffany Armstrong, <clears throat> and this is the 2024 WCT Open, and we're going to be talking all day about a very good friend of mine, uh, competitor, teammate, uh, you name it. I've known her, I knew her so for many, many years. Sunny Hale, um, who's passing gone, but she uh, she left her legacy, and so we're going to talk a lot about her and the WCT. Here we go. First ball in play. Remember, we are at the Grand Champions Polo Club. So if you are in town or you're picking this up um, on one of our platforms and you'd like to watch this game live, you can head over to the number one field 
at the Grand Champions Pole Club. As after this uh, this game, we will continue into our eight goal on the ball and turned around and controlled here. It will be Hope Ariano. Hope with her first touch of the day, looking for well either Kylie. And it looks like they're going to override and hope. Now they leave it for Tiffany Armstrong. Turn around quickly by Becky Schmeitz as Becky will put that ball downfield and it gets collected and take him. But Becky will pick it up once again on the Little Bay Pony and work this one down the sideline. Turn around, picked up here as they all come together there. And it looks like the, well, actually... The two 10 goalers, Hazel and Hope, coming together on the loose ball play. It's uh, picked up by Kylie. They turn it around quickly and controlled here. Now, can Hope get out in front? Yes, she can. And here comes Ariano Hope. One time inside the 80. Ariano, she'll override, takes it forward. Hazel putting the pressure on her. Kylie. Leaves it. Now it's going to be the open back shot from Millie over to Hazel. And here comes GCPC Grand Champions Polo Club. Nice ride off there by Megan Manube. And taken down. And this will be the first opportunity that Grand Champions Polo Club has worked the ball down inside the 60. Open back shot. From Hope to Kylie and loose ball play. Two players come together, turned around once again by Hines. As Millie will work this one in. Hines trying to get around Ariano. Nice pickup here by Hope. Pushes her wide early. Love the women's polo. I've had the opportunity to be, well, around the women's polos since, uh, well, the onset of it. And not just that, but we uh, <clears throat> we only get a break in action. That ball went just out of bounds, so we will have a safety penalty six on the play. I myself um, had the opportunity uh, for many years to play polo against Sonny Hale at a high school level. I went to Culver Military Academy in Indiana, and... I, uh, I played in the National Interscholastics, and we won three out of four years. And uh, while I was at Culver, and Sonny Hale and her sister Stormy uh, pre represented uh, their high school from California. On the penalty six, and what a well-hit ball right here by Hazel Jackson. That ball's going to go just wide to left. But that was the first time I, I actually met Sonny. And uh, um, her mom and her sister, Stormy, Sue Sally, was her mother and uh, a very, very strong polo player herself. And then over the years, just uh, grew our relationship as very good friends and competitors, as I said. And, um, of course, the uh, Hall of Famer. And uh, she is a pioneer, and we're going to talk a lot about her. On the move right here is going to be picked up and taken forward and controlled by Hazel Jackson. Hazel, she's been 10 for a uh, number of years now. And the newest 10 goaler is actually Hope Ariano. And that ball is going to go just out of bounds. I think we're going to get a courtesy changer. Yes, we are going to get a courtesy change. And uh, so we'll take a little uh, break in the action. This is the much anticipated women's championship tournament, the uh, WCT Sunny Hale Legacy, and highlighted by two tangolers. And uh, of course, they're playing right here, Hazel and Hope. The uh, it's a day to remember the Hall of Famer, polo player, and WCT founder Sunny Hale, a woman uh, forever etched in the hearts and souls of the polo community. And when they say that, you can believe it. As, um, man, she uh, just a, a super lady and uh, not just an amazing polo player, but on and off the field, a very good friend. Uh, she'll always be for, uh, remembered for the torch that she lit that now is carried on by women around the world. 
Hale died on February 26 in Norman, Oklahoma, at the uh, age of 48, so young, after battling uh, with breast cancer. And uh, that was a sad time for a lot of us. And it brings actually brings a tear to my eye thinking about her. She was a very good friend. And uh, as I said, not just a friend, but a competitor. And uh, <clears throat> of course, Norma, Norman, Oklahoma was, uh, was a very, uh, well, high goal area for polo. As the, um, we used to play a lot of polo there and uh, during the summer. Uh, Hale was a pioneer and an advocate for players and horses. She created the WCT, qualifying tournaments to give young players and women a chance to compete and improve and, pro and promoting the sport. And it has grown and grown and grown. And, um, you know, uh, Melissa Ganzi, a very good, of course, friend of mine. And um, she, uh, she, uh, she really represents um, and... Uh, has, uh, has a lot of love for this. I know it was very tough for Melissa. She was by her side um, when, when, uh, when Sonny did pass. And uh, so it's great to be able to carry this tournament on at the, uh, at the Grand Champions Polo Club. Back to the action after everybody has changed at the courtesy change. And here we go. Still one to zero. One, I mean, zero to zero. And the first chucker, as Hope Ariano, will pick this one up and work it down the left side. Hope. Good ball control. Now, oh, Hazel and Hope. They both go at it. Nice little steal from Hazel. Now down the center. They come together. Kylie's going to press here. Millie and Hine. Millie Hine and Kylie Sheehan. They both override, though. So good job here by Kylie. Open back shot by Hope. Looking for Kylie. Kylie's going to get there and work this down the field. And I'm enjoying the pace here early in this 2024 WCT Open. First shocker, Kylie on the move. Look for the approach shot. That my ball might go on its own. It's got eyes, Kylie. And yes, ma'am, as I say, yes, sir, but no, yes, ma'am, well done. Kylie Sheehan, what a goal there. She breaks loose and puts this one away. Great approach shot, and then she just kind of snaps this one, gets a little bit of the English rolling it back from right to left, kind of goes off the post, but gets our first goal of the day, and back to the center we go. So we will switch directions for any of you uh, new viewers or new p uh, patrons to the game of polo. If you are a new spectator, that's the uh, procedure we use in the game of polo after every goal scored for the same sun wind field advantage. And on the move, Hope Ariano look for the tail shot. She'll leave this one for Armstrong. And, oh, nice try there by Tiffany Armstrong who's actually played uh, earlier today. She's been playing. Oh, she played yesterday. I apologize. She's been playing a lot of polo at the Grand Champions Polo Club. Also, not just in the women's polo, but she's been playing in the six and in the eight goal also. On the knock-in, picked up here, and it's going to be Millie looking for Hazel. Backed up, met in there by Kylie, and we get a whistle on the play that'll stop the action. And we'll see if that was inside. I think it was inside the final 30 seconds. We'll make sure on that. Yeah, it looks like they're going to. Okay, so that is going to end our first chucker of play. So one, uh, one uh, chucker down. And remember, we will be back for our second chucker of the 2024 WCT Open.
Okay, welcome back to CTV Sports. I'm Dale Schwetz, and we are live from the Grand Champions Pole Club Field Number One 2024 WCT Open. And we have, uh, well, if you're just joining us, Grand Champions Pole Club in the dark jerseys with Megan Manu Bay playing the number one. And uh, she's on one goal. Becky Schmeitz playing the number two on one goal. Playing number three, Hazel Jackson, 10 goals. And playing the number four, Millie Hine, eight goals. Going to nine goals, though. And she will be being raised. I think that's uh, later in the year. And uh, they are in the dark, dark blue and light blue numbers. Now, in the pink and white, we have Aurea Polo Armstrong Farm. And with Petra Salvatova playing the number one on one goal, Tiffany Armstrong playing number two on one goal. And Kylie Sheehan playing number three on five goals. And Hope Ariano playing the number four on ten goals. Uh, Hazel and Hope, uh, two ten-goalers playing today. And a very special day for all of our women. But I know especially for uh, these two ladies who um, have reached the pinnacle of the handicaps. Of course, Sunny Hale. Um, she, uh, she was 10 goals also. And remember they are, the women are playing on women's handicaps today. We are going to have a double header for you today as we will, uh, roll into a, uh, round robin, an eight goal round robin. And, uh, it'll be live also here from the Grand Champions Polo Club. So let's get back to the action. Uh, second chucker one to zero. We had one goal scored by Kylie Sheehan in the first chucker. On the move, picked up here and taken forward by Hazel Jackson. And we get a whistle on the play. So it looks like they went into the corner here. They spun around. And Kylie, actually a very good play there by Kylie to, to let Hope push her man across the right of way. And then... One of the uh, uh, Grand Champions Polo Club ladies gets caught on a right-of-way violation coming across. Good shot there of Hope Ariano. And she will get the 5A from the spot. Looking for Kylie. Kylie moving the ball up and down the field here early for the Orea Armstrong team. Loose ball play, picked up now by Hope, bounced off a pony, turned around by Kylie in a good spot. She in. Looking to go down the field, looking for Hope. Down the center, she's going to find her. Hope's going to go ahead and put one out in front, and this might be a great shine for, for Petra. And, oh, just bad luck off to the right side. But a nice attack going here by the Aurea Armstrong team. As Petra and Tiffany both getting involved early. Now, on the knock-in once again. It has been Hine taking the knock-in. Looking for Hazel. To the outside they go. And backed up cleanly by Kylie Sheehan. Into the pack. Turned around. Kylie, once again, leaves it now for Hope Ariano. Going to get face up a little bit with Millie, with Millie, Millie Hine, and Hope. Slowing it down, Hope trying to find a little space to work. Now she's going to find it, trying to get by Becky. Becky and Hope still working it down. They come together there. Hazel coming from right to left, and we'll get a whistle on the play. So let's see what they uh, decide this with 442 on the clock here in our second chucker looked like hope is coming down the field and hazel comes from right to left right here he's going to come from right to left fall across the right of way and that's where he gets your whistle as we were talking about sunny hale and how she created the uh, wct uh women's handicaps were actually created by hale and uh, implemented by the United States Polo Association. Uh, in 2006, she started the American Polo Horse Association, which recognizes polo ponies in America and encouraged events that showcase them. Now, remember, we have a, well, an actually American uh, 
polo pony or polo I'm a horse polo horse association best playing pony and um and most of our high goal games and our finals here at the Grand Champions Polo Club and the Aspen Valley Polo Club as Hope Ariano is going to step up here and get her first goal today on the open goal penalty two. So at the moment, Aurea Armstrong doing a great job working the ball down the field and uh, scoring goals. So that is a huge, huge part. I know Sonny uh, would be thrilled to know how well and how much this has impacted polo with the American Polo Horse Association. Uh, she was a huge, huge advocate of polo pony, a great trainer herself, amazing rider, but she loved reading. And um, she was, uh, it was one of her, you know, one of, that was one of her passions. So um, I know amongst uh, many women that also are into the breeding, as we were talking about, uh, well, we we're talking about um, uh, Kanika with uh, Maureen Brennan, but also Melissa Ganzi and the Santa Rita Green Operation. And uh, you can go on and on and on. There's so many different ladies that are involved in uh, the breeding of the uh, amazing polo ponies these days. On the move, on the groove, on the finish is going to be Hazel Jackson as she takes that one all the way through, bounces it off the post but gets the first goal of the day for Grand Champions Polo Club. That'll make it 2-1. to one. Um, When you talk about uh, Sunny's uh, achievements, well, her resume speaks for itself. She won uh, the first, uh, well, the, she won the first USPA Women's Open Tournament in uh, 1990 at the Empire Polo Club in California, and that's where her mother played a lot of polo, uh, Sue Sally Hale. Uh, she, uh, also, uh, she also revived the, the U.S. Open um, Women's Polo Championship in 2011. She was the first women, a woman to win in, in U.S. history to win the U.S. Open in 2000 with Tim Gannon's Outback team. Uh, teammates Phil Healy, Lola Casanola, and um, Adolfo Cambiasso. Uh, she was rated five goals in the mix. Um, and polo and awarded uh, 10 goals status and uh, uh, in the women's and she uh, she carried it at such a high level um, and uh, she was uh, very very strong at all levels and in the women's which was such a beginning state then and also of course um, and uh, playing in with the men and in our open polo I had the opportunity to uh, to work with with uh, Sonny during the uh, 2000 uh, Outback win when they won the Open Air. And uh, she was uh, just an amazing player and uh, deserved every bit of that. And uh, what a great, great team it was, opening the door for women all around the world. Now, back to the action as we get everybody back in the saddle after our courtesy change. We are live in the second chucker. And it's been pretty nip and tuck. Just uh, a few more opportunities, I think, by the Aurea Armstrong team as Hope Ariano on the gray pony. Ariano, Hope, trying to get around the far side. She comes together here with Hazel, or Millie, actually, Hine, giving her a nice ride off and pushing her wide. Millie having a very strong uh, U.S. Open run this year. With the USPA, United States Polo Association. Actually, they played that out at the Port Mayaka Polo Club. And uh, a lot of preliminary games. And uh, she did a, did a great job this season. I think deserving to go from eight to nine. On the turn, everybody. Getting around quickly. Backed up cleanly now by Millie Down. Looking for Hazel. Neutral play with Hope. They come together there. Kylie with Mount in the air, but it's going to be picked up quickly by Millie. High now waiting for players to go left and right. And it looks like it's going to be Becky. Becky, nice pick up here by Schmeitz as she keeps this one going down the field. Backed up again by Kylie. Comes off a player. 
And it's going to be Hazel. Jackson. Good ball control here by Hazel. Now with Hope, they come together. And Hazel taking her time, staying composed. will pick up her second goal of the day. And more importantly, she'll pick up the equalizer as we click down to about a minute left here in our second chucker. Good replay there. You can see how uh, she took her time not to rush that play as Hope was putting a uh, ride off on her. And uh, also not to follow through. And um, you got to give love there. Hazel takes that next shot, but she doesn't follow through all the way to hit the pony next to her. Not an easy shot to do, so well done, Hazel, getting the goal and uh, clean play. Loose ball play here. That ball going about 45 degrees, and good read there by Hope, and she's going to get the right-of-way violation as that ball was still going 45 degrees across the field, and Ariano is going to jump on the right-of-way, picking up the right-of-way. Now, what? is Hope going to do? She has the ball from the center. Looks like she's going to tee it up. A new tee. And uh, will she run with it? Will she hit away? We will see. Here comes Hope. One timer down the center, and that's a pretty pass right there. Looking for Kylie. Oh, no, Petra. And Petra... Gets the shot on goal. Did it come off a pony? As nice attempt there by Petra. Sabatova, the supernova. As it looked like that's going to end the chucker. So uh, I don't believe that ball went through the goal. So it'll stay two to two. We'll get everybody on some fresh ponies. And we'll be back for our second half. Uh, stay with us here on CTV Sports. Playing in a dedicated women's polo league is great for progressing your polo. It's um, great for us to play together as women, to have a chance to take to the field with some of the best polo players in the world. Um, it's helping us come together, improve our polo, and keep up playing a regular high level of polo. Like, I'm learning so much. I am uh, shadowing some of the best women players um, in the sport, and it's just been an incredible journey, really. I have played at Santa Rita before and I love it here. It's a fantastic club. They do so much for, for not only just polo, but women's polo. So we're very excited to be here and you know, huge thanks to Melissa and Mark for, for having us. Have an opportunity. Santo Bellini gonna fire one from 60. Oh, off the post.
if you are in the area, I suggest you make your way to Sunset Chugger the Cocktail because this is the fun type polo match. It's where everyone's relaxed and chilling, just having a great time. We have great hors d'oeuvres and a special drink for the day. Okay, welcome back, everybody, to the 2024 WCT Open, and we're live from the Grand Chamois Pole Club Field Number One. I'm Dale Schwetz, and I want to welcome everybody once again. A very special uh, time of the year for us here at the Grand Chamois Pole Club, and you know what, polo in general around the world, as we have uh, top ladies here, and uh, of course representing and uh, spreading the love for. Uh, Sunny Hale, uh, this is uh, the Legacy uh, Finals, and uh, of course Sunny, <clears throat> a pioneer, and uh, not just an amazing woman, but a great friend, player, teammate, or you know, as you said, might uh, might have to play against her a lot, like I did. <laughs> and, and boy, I'll tell you what, I'd rather have her, on, have her on my team than than uh, than as a competitor playing against against me. But we uh, we spread the we spread the love to her and her family. Um, she did pass. Uh, she died on uh, February 22nd in Norman, Oklahoma. 48 years old, so so young, uh, battling uh, breast cancer, and um, this is her legacy. And we've been talking about the WCT and everything is done. But also, we have some top players out there. And uh, I'm going to talk a lot about all, a lot of the players that will be coming up to play. And we're playing the Open uh, right now with uh, uh, Becky uh, Megan uh, Ma uh, Manu Bay. Uh, one goal, Becky Schmeitz. One goal, Millie Hine at uh, eight goals. And Hazel Jackson at 10 goals there in the dark jerseys. Uh, Aurea Armstrong with Petra Serpentova. One goal, Tiffany Armstrong. One goal, Kylie Sheehan at five goals. And Hope Ariano at 10 goals. And Ariano, uh, 21 years old, much like uh, uh, Sunny, she uh, became, uh, she, she's become an inspiration for young women. And uh, she, she takes it, uh, she takes it at a, at a high high uh, level she uh, she carries the torch at a very high level I know her um, she's a very good friend of mine her mother is a very uh, is is my wife's best friend and uh, Megan and um, of course her father Julio Ariano was actually one of our special guests uh, last week here on CTV sports and uh, one of our top coaches in the world right now is he was a former nine goal player uh, mother also enjoyed playing the game along with her grandfathers, um, both of her grandfathers, and um, she's a fourth generation player uh, player who became uh, the only second American woman to be rated 10 goals and the first American to achieve uh, 10 goals. And I didn't realize realize this the status since Paulito Pieres was rated 10 goals. Paulito. Uh, from our team of born in America, and um, she uh, she achieved that tangle status, and uh, she is the first American player to win the prestigious Women's Argentine Open. She's also won the U.S. Open, the Women's Polo Championship. It was the first woman to compete for the U.S. in the FIP World Polo Championship. So I think you remember 
Um, if you watch polo a lot, you remember that. And uh, she was amazing. Uh, we also, and I'll talk about her. We got the action going back on her, but I want to talk about Hazel Jackson, who's a man. Here she is, Hazel on the move. Hazel Jackson, and not much hope can do there, but fall into the rumble seat and hope for the miss. But number three, Hazel Jackson, is going to pick up her third goal of the day and get her hat trick early. Great uh, run right here by Hazel. Always hit to the far post. I talk about it a lot here on CTV Sports. Hit to the far post. Always easy for the finish as Hazel Jackson gets her hat trick uh, early in the third chucker. Hazel, another one born and raised in the U.K. in the United Kingdom, and she also ranked 10 goals, and uh, she is as also an inspiration uh, to young women and, well, an inspiration to all uh, young women and young men who play the game polo. She's an amazing captain, and uh, she, uh, she plays the game at a very high level with, uh, with a lot of positive energy, and she carries the torch also with a lot of uh, respect and honor. <clears throat> Dignity and, of course, honesty and integrity. On the move right here, and they have picked up the pace. And here we go as Hazel and Hope going at it as Sonny Wood. Two top ten goals right there, playing at a high level here in the third chucker. Loose ball play, turned around, and it's going to be controlled by Millie Hine. Trying to get around Kylie. They come together here. Now they leave it for Jackson. Hazel looking for Millie. Goes for the play. Well done, Kylie taking the mallet away. Now they all come together. Wow, what a play by Kylie Sheehan. Now Hazel gets in there. And then finally we get a whistle on the play. Wow, Kylie. Doing a good job on defense there. She made about four or five plays, and then they bunch up right here. She makes one. Oh, that good play there by actually by Tiffany. Then Petra gets in, in on the mix. It's Petra working hard there, Becky. Then Kylie comes back in, and then we have uh, a one meeting two. So open goal penalty shot from the from the spot. So it will be a. Let's see, looks like they're going to pass the stick to Becky. So Becky Schmeitz, opportunity here from the well, five or six yard line. No problem, Becky, believe it or not. You think that's easy. Well done, Becky, <laughs> putting her mouth in. Well, I'll tell you what, Becky, you think it's easy. That's not that easy because you still need to hit the ball cleanly. I don't care if it's five yards or 35 yards. Uh, you still got to make contact. And Becky, very calm pony, walks up and gives it a ride. And that ball actually would have gone in from about the 30-yard uh, line. And Becky will get her first goal today. So 4-2 to two here early in the third still with four minutes left in the third chucker. A lot of time left in this game. Four chuckers of polo here in the WCT Open final. Loose ball play to far side. Turn around controlled by Hope. Looking for maybe a little trouble. She'll steal this one away, though. Now it's a clean steal. Now Hope trying to take it around the corner. Gets a little help from Kylie. Well done. No, no, extra Petra. I apologize. I keep getting Petra and Kylie mixed up. I do apologize. They do have the, everyone has so many light helmets. They all got white or pink helmets on today. There's Kylie right there. Now Hope. With players in front, Ariano working it down the field. Hope has room to work. Down the center they go, looking for Petra. This is what you want. Get Petra out in front. Sabatova, nice pickup by Petra. Now look for Armstrong. Well done by Tiffany. Come on, Tiffany. Takes it forward. Leaves it now for Kylie. Everybody getting involved. Hope getting involved, actually. Hope now. Leaves it now for Tiffany. Petra takes everybody out. That's going to work. Oh, and now a whistle on the play. I wasn't sure if, 
if it uh, looked like everybody had a man and maybe Hope was going to sneak out of there with that ball as they came together, that'll send us, send us to the courtesy change. But we will see whether there was a foul there or just a courtesy change call. In which case, <clears throat> you would still have possession on that play. As uh, everybody had a had a every woman had a woman actually. They're all they're all lined up on that play. The ball was coming across the field at forty five degrees. Tiffany overrode and then Petra pushed Sherman out, and it looked like Hope might have got out in front there. As there was a couple players coming down, we'll see what they decide. Yeah, I think you're going to get a right away violation here. Keep an eye on this ball. It's going across the field here. It never changes. Stops right there. Everybody overrides. And I think right there, I want to ensure if Kylie had pushed her, her player off, pushed Becky out. But they're going to say that Becky was on the right of way there. So one meeting, two will be the call from the spot. And they'll go ahead and get everybody on some fresh horses. And it will be Millie Hine, 5A. Millie still has time. Hazel. Kylie's going to stay with Millie. Hazel trying to get out in front, picked up by Hope. The two 10 goalers, once again, it's been fun watching them go. They play well together. They are very, very strong when they play together, winning many tournaments. And now both being 10 goals, they do compete a lot against each other. Good pick up here by Becky. Everybody getting involved. Actually, I'm sorry, by by Megan. Manu Bay, nice pickup by Megan. Now they come together once again, and that will stop the clock with 210. So we'll see where this ball pops out. Looks like uh, right there, Megan gets a piece of it, and then, she, then Becky tries to move it along. They come around the corner. Kylie. And that looked like it might have been a couple of, yeah, this is going to go in favor of the Aurea Armstrong, and that's going to be one meeting two there as Kylie had a player with her. So it'll be Hope on the penalty 5A. Now looking for Tiffany, and it will be Armstrong. Tiffany on the breakaway. Come on, Tiffany. She loves to run with the ball with the Bay Pony. Nice pick up, Tiffany. Petra's got her player on her hip. Tiffany's got to come in from left to right. There's the drag. Tiffany one, Tiffany twice. And well done, Tiffany Armstrong, as that is a goal lasso and very well hit. And that's a good coast, coast run here because that was from a 5A. And look at Petra. It's got her player on her hip. That's Becky. And actually, Megan. Manu Bay was right there, but no problem for Tiffany. And she's been scoring goals in the league play at the Grand Champions Polo Club. So here we go. Four to three. One minute left in our third chucker. And then we'll have our fourth and final chucker. Should be a good one. Can the Aurea Armstrong team get the equalizer or will Grand Champions Polo Club pull ahead by two? Backed up cleanly again by Hope. <clears throat> now Kylie. Kylie's got Tiffany out in front. Tiffany's got the hot stick if they can get it back to her. Another back shot. Hope's going to have control here with time. Ariano. She might go for one more run. Hope. Down the center with it. Ariano. Backed up cleanly. Yeah, everybody looking for it. It's going to be Hazel now. Hazel and Hope. Hope, Hazel. Hazel, Hope. Hazel releases the ball. Looking for a dark blue jerseys. Backed up cleanly by Tiffany. Now. 
They come together. Hope, will she have time? Ariano, trying to get a run here. Hope, can she get by? Hazel, and the time is probably going to end right there. So here we go, four to three. We're going to get all of our ladies on some fresh ponies, and we'll be back for our fourth and final chucker. This is the 2024 WCT Open. If you are in the area, I suggest you make your way to Sunset Chuckle the Cocktail because this is a fun type polo match. It's where everyone's relaxed and chilling, just having a great time. We have great hors d'oeuvres and a special drink for the day. Okay, welcome back, everybody. And we're in our fourth and final chucker. Very good game here. What a great match for the 2024 WCT Open. <clears throat> we will have our uh, 2024 WCT 8 goal round robin. And uh, <clears throat> But at the moment, uh, we have a 4-3 to three game. I was talking about the 10 goalers in uh, Opariana, but also Hazel Jackson was born in uh the uh, UK. She also ranked 10 goals in and uh, won the Argentine Open and the U.S. Women's Open. And she uh, is the captain of the English and ladies polo team. And she was uh, Ariano's teammate uh, when, they win, when they won the uh, 2023 Women's Argentine Open team. <laughs> so they have played a lot of polo together. And look at this. Looking for the equalizer. And there you go. Hope Ariano is going to pick up her second goal of the day, one from the field, one from the penalty two, and the big bay pony just gets going, and nothing that Hazel could do there. And you can understand why they are such great teammates. Uh, well, especially uh, winning the Argentine Open uh, 2023 together. They... Uh, they also uh, they won they were uh, they were teammates also the U.S. Open women's with Lafay and they finished runners up. Uh, so congratulations to the Lafay polo team, and um, so they have uh, played a lot of polo together as I said, and uh, so it's just so great to see them representing here. And I know they uh, they take it with a lot of pride here also for Sunny Hale. Um, and the uh, the WCT Sunny Hill Legacy uh, final game. Four to four. This is going to be a good one. Look at this. On the move. Nice run, Megan. And she turns a corner. Now Hope, with speed, turns a corner. Gets around in front of Millie. Hine is going to press. Oh, look at Hope. Trying to go for the run there. Millie turns it. Kylie tries to steal it. Now it's going to be picked up by Hazel. 
And they're going to send Megan forward. Megan. Well done. Megan. Nice approach shot here by Manu Bay. Megan saved it. Well done on the tail shot. Does it stay on the field, though? I believe it's going to be off the field. But again, a great run there by Megan Manu Bay. Very well hit but just off to the side. So we will click down to five minutes. And looks like Hope's going to take it across the center. Bad luck there. The bounce is off of Kylie's pony. So Sheehan, and now once again, the two tangolers come together, Hazel and Hope. Hope, Hazel, Hazel, Hope. Who's going to get by? Looking for Kylie. Oh, well done. Kylie's going to win the ride off there. They come together, though. And, uh-oh, Hazel. Now Kylie's got to work hard. Hazel inside the 40. Hazel and Jackson will get the high flag there as they come together and turn the corner. So broken play as it looked like Hope was going to pick up the broken play. But that ball... Gets left on the field. Jackson turns the offense into defense and gets the go-ahead goal. <clears throat> Back to the center we will go. Should get one more run here before the courtesy change. No. Looks like they're going to go ahead and use the courtesy change. So with 151 on the clock, they are going to use our final courtesy change. And looks like a good shot there of uh, the Ore Apollo and Armstrong. As you have Petra Severtova and Tiffany Armstrong on the far side. The, uh, of course, during the uh, winter polo season, Grand Champions Polo Club, nation's largest and most innovative USPA sanctioned polo club. Nestled in the heart of world's winter equestrian capital, celebrating its 17th anniversary. Congratulations to the Grand Champions Polo Club, hosting a wide range of tournaments from 6, 8, 12, 20, and 26 gold leagues. And the Polo School Women's Polo League, WCT, of course, the finals here, and several PTF, Polo Training Foundation Junior Tournaments, World Polo League, which is now in uh, right now, get ready to, to uh, well, our final tournament and the Triple Crown. So you want to make sure you check that out. But covering everything from 6 to 26 goals on CTV Sports. Don't forget about the uh, also the World Polo League Pride that will be coming up, tournament and Sunset Chuckers and Cocktails every Tuesday at the uh, Grand Champions uh, Polo Club and the Santa Rita Polo Farm. And we've been having some great crowds out there right here on the legendary field number one. All right, we got all the ladies back, and here we go. Anybody's match at the moment. Very, very competitive, fun, fast. I mean, I don't think we've only had couple fouls too very clean open play in polo here we go on the move though grand champions trying to work it down megan is going to push petra over to the right and i believe that it looks like hope ariano had the right of way there so we will get a penalty 5a from the spot in favor of the Aurea Armstrong team. Watch right there. You see how Petra got, was pushed over in the pink helmet, in the pink and white, pushed over to the right with um, Hope already established on the right of way. You saw the contact there between the two pink and white jerseys based on one of the uh, Grand Champions players pushing her over. So outlet pass, looking for Tiffany. Armstrong will override. Along the boards, picked up by Millie. Savatova trying to stay there with Hines. Stolen away nicely. Ooh. 
Ooh, I thought maybe Hope was out the door there. As she goes for the steal. And that'll take us down to three minutes. And I'm not sure it looked like she said it was a uh, look like she was trying to take that ball out in front. I'm not sure along the boards. I guess they were called on a reaching call. But they're going to carry that ball down, uh, well, to this penalty four. We'll see if they go any further with it. And we have not seen a 60 hit yet by the Grand Champions Polo Club team. Grand Champions Polo. And you see if they, uh, it's either going to be Melly or Hazel. And it looks like it will be Heim. So, Millie. Opportunity, 60 yard penalty four. The goal by two goals. Well hit. Stolen away by Hope. Ariano. Nice ride off by Hazel. Back shot coming. Hope's going to duck out of the way. Good read by Sheehan. Stolen away now by Hope, and now Ariana will regroup and get ready. Hope pulls it off the boards. Rotation by Millie. Looking across the center for Armstrong. Now Tiffany. Well done, Tiffany, if she can get by Hazel. Tiffany, nice pick up here by Tiffany. Armstrong on the move, well done. Looking for the equalizer. Now Hazel, Tiffany, Tiffany, Armstrong. And that ball gets backed out, but look at this. Hope, Ariano, inside the 40, inside the 30. Look for the equalizer right in front of goal. Turned around, Ty Lee, and you'll get a whistle on the play. Wow, what action going on down in the north goal. Everybody getting a piece of it. Well done, Tiffany. Hope gets the ball inside right here, and I thought she was going to put it away. It just skipped over the top of her mouth. Good read here by Kylie. And then Becky's going to come in, but she's got to go near side there. So she's going to have a right-of-way violation. Or she's got to make that contact early. A little bit further back. Because she was uneven there on the ride-off. So she will get caught on the uneven ride-off. Right-of-way violation. Open goal penalty two. And I don't know if they go for the spot here or from the center. Either or. Exactly where that ball was, was set. And 2.13 on the clock. Hope, and the high flag, and look at this, the equalizer, five to five, two minutes left. What a play by Tiffany Armstrong. She has been playing sensational polo, but I got to tell you, everyone's been playing very well. Petra, Tiffany, Kylie, and Hope, <clears throat> but Becky, Megan, Millie, and Hazel, this has turned into a... Well, this way we want it to be. Top notch 2024 WCT Open. Now, possession is huge. Hope bounces off a pony. Hope trying to work it out. Tiffany under the neck with it. Why not? She's got the hot stick. Tiffany. Well done, Tiff. Off the board, she might get the breakaway. Tiffany Armstrong with the breakaway here. Minute 14 on the clock. Armstrong keeping it out in front. Override. Now Petra with the opportunity. Turned around quickly by Hazel. Jackson. Now she'll control. One minute left. Looking to go down the left side. Oh, they come together, and you're going to get a whistle here, and this looks like, to me, 
like you're going to get a penalty shot in favor of Aurea Armstrong because looks like the blue stayed near side there and the blue needs to go to the offside as Hope Ariana was taking the next shot, a back shot there. And so the, the oncoming player must switch to the offside. Now, do they keep it from the spot? Or do they move it to the 60? Looks like they're going to go from the spot. So, remember, no right of way on the near side, the left side of the pony. So, if a player is there ready to make a play, as Hope Ariana was on the near side, then the oncoming player must switch to the offside. They must switch to the right side of the pony. In this case, the oncoming player stayed on the near side, not giving Hope a clean play. 48 seconds, Ariano, 5A. One-timer, she's going for it. Are you kidding me? That ball's got eyes. And, oh, just off to the left side. They'll play this out, so we might get one more run. What a shot by Hope. Ariano almost putting that ball in for the win. And now Hazel will leave it for Millie. Hine down the center. Good ride off Petra. Nice back shot. Who's going to be there? Back shot coming from Kylie looking for Hope. Hope takes them out away. This could be trouble. Hazel. Eight seconds on the clock. Jackson, look at Tiffany coming in hot. Armstrong, everybody, Hope, turns it, and time runs out. And wow, what a game as this is incredible. That is, oh, oh, what a what a chucker. All the ladies here. And, oh, <laughs> This has just been a fabulous game. So we're going to go ahead and go to a little break here. And we will see five to five. And that is just shows you how women's polo has grown and is one of the largest um, growth in the United States Polo Association. <clears throat> the women's um, have been uh, just carrying the torch with the amount of women, new women that are signed up to play, and, of course, around the nation, playing in different places, and, uh, of course, the rating systems. But we're going to go to a little break, and uh, we'll see how they, we're going to work this one out, what they decide to do here. This is the WCT Open, and uh, stay with us. I'm Dale Schwetz. We'll be right back. All right, so uh, welcome back, everybody. What a game, uh, five to five, and we're just working out how um, they want to finish this uh, year's 2024 uh, WCT Open. 
and uh, four truckers, and it, it was just uh, very, very exciting. And uh, remember, this is live from the Grand Champions Polo Club, field number one. And, of course, they uh, if you've been watching the polo this year, we've also been playing a lot of polo at the uh, Santa Rita Polo Farm and 102 acres facility. And um, the um, so if you get a, do get a chance to come and watch the games, please remember it is a private facility, but when the games are open, there's a very good shot. Here, I like to get a picture of that right there with Hazel, Hope, uh, two 10 goalers, uh, general manager, Kale Newman with our, with our mounted official. Grand Champions Polo Club catering to men, women, and youth players uh, at all levels. And, of course, our ex expert, expert staff is uh, can customize and complete playing experience, including horses, pros, certified umpires, in, a in addition to lessons and practice uh, games, sessions. You can also be a part of the Polo On Demand program. And uh, the member, if you don't remember, the Polo On Demand pro program, one of the most unique, if not the most unique program in the world of polo and uh where you can just demand any kind of scenario be it a stick and ball session or be it playing in the women's wct uh open you can uh and world polo league uh 26 goals or playing a six goal they will uh the, the uh, staff of course and at a high level <clears throat> and will will prepare you and uh set you up to play in whatever polo you desire to. And it's uh, truly amazing. And I've had the opportunity to be a part of it and actually witness and see the Polo on Demand program work from six goals to 26 goals. So if you would like to play. Okay, so we are going to finish this 2024 WCT Open Final with the Rainbow Rule. And the Rainbow Rule is whatever team actually gets the ball over the opposing team's end line. So <laughs> all you have to do, you don't score a goal. You just have to be able to get the ball over the end line. So that makes the goal. 160 yards wide and uh, of course they always shoot for the goal and both teams will go for the goal but if the ball does go over the end line while shooting at the goal uh, at the goal that you're of course your offensive attack the direction you're going in then you will win so it's kind of exciting because any breakaway as long as you don't miss the ball is is a uh, is a true breakaway and can end the game, and uh, the way these two teams have been playing, I mean this sick this fourth chucker was uh, very very exciting. I know Sunny would be proud, and uh, I'm sure that's bringing a smile to her face, as uh, as amongst all of ours here in the uh, in the uh, studios and at the field here is. We are live here on CTV Sports and live at the uh, Grand Champions Polo Club Field. Number one, Yan Etik Frank is at the field. You can see a lot of fans there on the. That's the west side of the field, but we do have the stadium open. And uh, are they going to go? I think it might have changed a few horses. I believe they are. Are they going to go ahead and change a few? Or are they going to, yeah, they're going to, we're going to see. They might go. Yeah, just waiting for a few horses. So we had Kylie and a few, just making sure all of the horses were okay for the to finish. Very similar to an overtime chucker, sudden death. But the rainbow rule put in place, actually with a lot of the junior players, they used to use the rainbow rule a lot with a lot of the PTF and the junior. But pretty much like this, on the breakaway play, 
whoever gets that breakaway can uh, pretty much get a finish if you get a goal going. And Hope Ariano. Hope Ariano. Oh, well done, Hazel. Hope spinning around quickly. Loose ball play here. And it looks like it's going to be Megan out in front. Good rotation, no by. Tiffany backed up and picked up now, and the shot there by Millie, controlled by Hope, and Hope will turn the corner. Now, Ariano looking for someone to go forward here. Hope working it down the far right side. Ariano, can she get it out in front for Petra? Uh-oh, Hope might be on the move here. Oh, now Ryan, now Petra in line. Tiffany, Megan, Megan gets a piece of it. Well done, Megan. Manu Bay on the move, and, oh, this could be Hazel. Oh, she overrides. Now it gets backed up, and Tiffany gets a piece of it. Becky smites. Look at this. Becky might get the win here. Met in there. Well done. Now Hope will turn a corner. Look at this. The rainbow rule is becoming a very exciting final chucker. Now Becky's got to give one play. Oh, no whistle on the play. And there you go. And that'll end it right there as the final play of the game. But what a game this has been as it went back and forth. <clears throat> it looked like a couple times each team had an opportunity to finish it. But, again, a very, very strong finish and congratulations well to both teams as they took its grand champion polo club with megan manu bay on one goal well done becky smites on one goal playing number two hazel jackson scoring the winning goal there 10 goals playing number three and millie hine playing the number four congratulations but there's never a loser in the WCT Open. This is always such a, a great game, of course. And remember, it's all about Sunny Hale. And, and we want to thank the Aurea Polo Club, I mean, Aurea Polo Team, Armstrong Farm, Aurea Armstrong with Petra Savartova playing number one, Tiffany Armstrong playing the two, Kylie Sheehan playing the three, and Hope Ariano playing the number four. They mix it up very, very well. And, of course, Sunny Hale, legacy, final. <clears throat> and, man, it always, uh, it's always very interesting. So we are, we are going to take a little break. And uh, when we return, we are going to have the 2024 WCT eight goal. And that's going to be uh, three different teams. And we're going to have uh, Jupiter Polo with uh, Santa Rita Polo and Resolute Armstrong Farms. So we will send it to a little break. Get yourself a snack because we'll be back for more of the WCT Sunny Hale Legacy Day here at the Grand Champions Polo Club and CTV Sports.
Playing in a dedicated women's polo league is great for progressing your polo. It's um, great for us to play together as women, to have a chance to take to the field with some of the best polo players in the world. Um, it's helping us come together, improve our polo and keep up playing a regular high level of polo. Like I'm learning so much. I am uh, shadowing some of the best women players um, in the sport and it's just been an incredible journey really. I have played at Santa Rita before and I love it here. It's a fantastic club. They do so much for, for not only just polo, but women's polo. So we're very excited to be here and you know, huge thanks to Melissa and Mark for, for having us. Have an opportunity. Santo Bellini gonna fire one from 60. Oh, off the post. If you are in the area, I suggest you make your way to Sunset Chuckle the Cocktail because this is the fun type polo match. It's where everyone's relaxed and chilling, just having a great time. We have great hors d'oeuvres and a special drink for the day.
Becky Schmeitz. I play for Victory Polo. And I think uh, for me, I, I was a rider first and then I learned how to play polo. But what helped me the most was I really immersed myself into it. So my first year I started playing, I really just tried to play every chucker I could. I never turned down a chucker. I'm extremely hard to find a horse for because I'm very, very picky. And um, I've always thought that the horse really picks you as a person. What I love about Grand Champions is it allows me just to focus on polo. Um, I am very challenged by the polo that I'm playing and I have not just one coach out there but everyone on the field is coaching me. Um, the dynamic that you, you are on a different team every week um, is a really good mental, uh, mental strategy for learning the game because everyone, every pro is different, every pro has a different approach, a different style and it, it makes you communicate. Um, but I also feel like my pool has just gotten better. I, I would say most definitely what I love about the Santa Rita fields are that there's a lot of them and they're very safe. And so um, I don't have to navigate as much when I'm going to goal. And so then it just keeps me focused on myself it, and I feel um, a little more confident playing. Um, and it's it's a beautiful location, and the staff and team here is amazing. Okay, welcome back to CTV Sports. I'm Dale Schwetz, and we are live from the Grand Champions Polo Club Field Number One. And this is a, a very uh, big day for us here, as this is the WCT Sunny Hale Legacy, and uh, we have the final. We have the we had our open and now we have our WCT 8 goal and looks like we have uh, a few of our players uh, coming out on the field here for our uh, final uh, setup here as they get ready to go and uh, we're going to check really quick here let's see on our um, Two teams that are coming out. We're going to check with our field side correspondent once again. And so we'll check out on, on uh, our two teams. Now we got, we do know our, our, our two teams, or three teams actually. We have, we have the uh, Resolute uh, Armstrong Farm Team, and we have Jupiter Polo, and we have the Santa Rita Polo. Uh, team, so we're gonna check out. We know there we have. Uh, we'll check out our positioning, of course, yeah, as we have um, Ava Rose Hinkson playing with Melissa von uh, Falkenhausen playing also with Rebecca Cohen and Megan Manube, and they actually played in the last game. It looks like uh, Rebecca playing the number one. And we'll check and see on the rec so We've got Ava. Um, we got uh, Melissa playing the number four. We're going to see where Ava and Megan decided to play. Looks like uh, Melissa playing the four. Yeah, and so we're going to get that line now. And then we got uh, the Jupiter Polo with Meredith Lovegrove and Paige Coles. Um, Allison Poor and Jenna Davis, and we'll get that uh, final setup for you. And then with uh, Resolute, 
Armstrong Farms. We have Lauren, uh, Lauren Proctor uh, Brown with Nicole Height, Kylie Sheehan, and Tiffany Armstrong. And it looks like we have the uh, Santa Rita Polo team, and they're actually in the uh, in the dark jerseys today. Yeah, they are in the dark jerseys. They're in the purple. Well, if they're in the purple, okay. Well, then they mix they mix a few players up. <laughs> Because so, uh, we have Rebecca, so we'll, we'll get that organized for you here. And as they pick that one up and uh, take it down, so now picked up here by Santa Rita. And uh, remember, we're going to play uh, a round robin setup here, so it'll be two. Two uh, chuckers per team playing against each other. And um, they will, uh, the winners of the first round will go ahead and sit, and then we will play the uh, second round, second leg, as you would say. And it looks like we are going to get, uh, okay, so that's going to be, uh, Jupiter Polo is going to be in the dark jerseys because we got that set up here. And uh, so we have uh, Rebecca Cohen playing the number one. And we have Paige Cole playing the number two. Al Zippor playing the three, and Jenna Davis playing the number four. All right. And I appreciate that from our field side correspondent. Thanks so much. We have uh, Yan Eric Frank also at the field. And uh, so we had a few, a couple replacements today for the ladies, as of course representing. Yeah. And so they, uh, as they pick up here, remember Santa Rita in the purple jerseys, as of course uh, uh, the, the Jupiter Polo in the dark jerseys. And you know, uh, well, you can represent uh, Rebecca always in the, the pink helmet there. And all right. And as our, our Santa Rita team, we have uh, Megan. Uh, Manube playing the number one. And Megan just got done playing actually in the open. Uh, so you can see right there in the, the purple. And also she has the dark helmet right there. Megan riding the gray pony. And playing the number two will be Mary Wright. And playing the number three today will be Ava Rose Hinkson. And Ava, uh, she actually played uh, in the, uh, she's been playing in the six and the eight goal, actually, in the uh, limited edition and playing very, very well in the limited edition. And, of course, the number four will be Melissa Von Falkenhausen. And on this ball, it's going to be turned around and picked up here by Allison Poor now. Allison taking around the corner, and she is a force prereq with. Well done, Allison. Shot on goal. That ball is going to lay inside the 30, picked up here and taken around the corner, and picked up once again. And good control here by Santa Rita. As it's going to be, look at this. What a play by Melissa. She is off to the races, and wow, Aiko Polo once again. <laughs> Man, you must be kidding me. They are playing at another member, and these are all on uh, the women's handicaps, and they are playing at a very high level on those handicaps. And that's actually Ava. <laughs> I'm sorry, right there with the face mask on, and... They said she's been playing very, very well in our 
uh, in our league play during the season here at the Grand Champions Polo Club in our 8, 6, 8, and 12 goal. Around the corner is going to be Megan Manube as she takes it around on the gray pony. Picked up here and controlled by Ava Rose Hinkson as she keeps it going. And then Mary Wright's going to get a piece of it. Now they work it down and you get the high flag there, and I think so. And it's going to be first goal of the day here for Ava Rose Hinkson, and that will not be her last. Trust me, she has been scoring goals, pulling the team, doing a fabulous job. What should they work it all in here? They work it down very good. They had them all lined up. You had, you had Ava, then you had uh, Mary, uh, Megan, and Alicia, and then finally. It gets put between the posts, and they'll go ahead and come back to the center. And that's going to take us to our courtesy change, so we will get a courtesy change. And it looks like uh, Jenna Davis there riding the gray pony. <laughs> and say Jenna Davis right there, number four. And it uh, looks like uh, Rebecca Cohen. We're on number one right there, another one of our Polo School graduates, along with Paige Coles. Paige right there, wearing the number two today for the Jupiter Polo. And, of course, Allison Poor. So that'll take give us a little bit of time. And if you, like you said, if you're just joining us uh, for the day, uh, we are at the Grand Champion Polo Club Field number one. And it is all about <clears throat> the Sadi Hale legacy. And, of course, remember the Hall of Famer, Polo Pioneer, and WCT founder, Sonny Hale, a woman forever etched in the hearts and souls of the Polo community. And uh, that, is, uh, that is at the highest level. Um, fact and will always be me missed and loved Sunny Hale and um, always love uh, to her family and friends whistle on the play here in our first chucker of six we are playing a six chucker round robin so each team will play two chuckers against each other it gets turned around the corner here um, by Jenna Davis then they come together and Paige Coles gets in the middle of it with Alyssa. I mean, I'm sorry, with Allison. And now the loose ball play is going to be picked up again by Jenna. Jenna, nice pickup. She slows it down. And Melissa has got to get one play there. She knows it, along with Ava. Now loose ball play out in front as Paige Coles tries to run it down. Good pickup, though, by Megan. And around the corner they go, and it's going to be picked up again by Ava Rose Hinkson. Ava on three goals with the women's handicaps on the far side. Only one goal scored here in the first chucker so far from Ava Rose Hinkson. Now they turn that ball around. Remember, Santa Rita Polo in the purple. And Jupiter Polo in the black jerseys. As they come around the corner, once again, picked up and taken forward by Paige. Paige on the breakaway. Ooh, not bad luck there, Paige. She was off to the races. Turned around nicely now by Ava. She'll slow it down. Minute, under two minutes left here in our first of six. Into the corner they go. <clears throat> Good ball control. And by Mary Wright. Now they'll take it forward. And they will override, and that ball will go just wide. And we'll get the low flag, and they'll set up for another knock-in. So it will be Jupiter Polo to do the honors here. And the one-timer by Jenna Davis. Jenna on four goals along with Allison Poor, two very strong uh, women players. They are going to get one play here and a whistle. 
that will stop the clock on the blocking foul. So blocking is the call, and they'll take that ball to center field. And you can see the umpire there just kind of explaining right there. And remember, they will allow that play to happen if you do not block at a 90-degree angle. Anything between over 45 degrees, they're going to go ahead and <clears throat> give you a, wh a blow the whistle there and stop the play. And just because of the player that's following the right away without making contact needs to stop he, him, or her pony. And that's why they will whistle very quickly there. All right, on the penalty 5B, it will be Jupiter Polo. And Jenna Davis will do the honors. Down the field they go. Picked up by Allison. Loose ball play for Rebecca right in front of goal. Ooh, nice hook in there by Melissa. They turn the corner. And here comes Santa Rita on the move. And that's going to be Melissa. Nice pick up here, Ava, actually. I'm sorry. Ava now under the neck with it. Nice pickup by Ava Rose. Going to slow it down here. She's got Melissa. Von Falk Valkenstein. Valkenhauser, I start. Valkenhausen, I, I apologize. Melissa. Von Falkenhausen. And it looks like that ball, it looked like Melissa was going forward here for a pass, and then time ran out on us. And, yeah, it's going to stop right there as we do get a whistle. But it looked like uh, Mary Wright was trying to take it off. So that will end our first chucker and our first uh, chucker of our first leg. Remember, two, two chuckers in each leg of our six truck around Robin. We get everybody on some fresh ponies and we'll be right back. Stay with us here for the 2024 WCT eight goal round Robin. Playing in a dedicated women's polo league is great for progressing your polo. It's um, great for us to play together as women to have a chance to take to the field with some of the best polo players in the world. Um, it's helping us come together, improve our polo and keep up playing a regular high level of polo. Like, I'm learning so much. I am uh, shadowing some of the best women players um, in the sport, and it's just been an incredible journey, really. I have played at Santa Rita before and I love it here. It's a fantastic club. They do so much for, for not only just polo, but women's polo. So we're very excited to be here and you know, huge thanks to Melissa and Mark for, for having us. Welcome back to CTV Sports. I'm Dale Schwetz, and we are live from the Grand Champions Polo Club. Field number one, very special day here for us at uh, the Grand Champions Polo Club, uh, CTV Sports, and, of course, the polo world in general. Yeah. And number one, let's go through the players with you one more time. If you just join us, number one is Rebecca Cohen. She is playing the number one. Playing number two is Paige Coles. Playing number three is Allison Poor. And playing number four is Jenna Davis. And they will, uh, they're going to come in and uh, a very strong team in the dark jerseys. In the purple jerseys, 
we have Santa Rita Polo, and that's going to be the number one, Mary Wright, and the uh, playing the number two will be Megan Manube, number three, Ava Rose Hinkson, and then number four, Melissa von Falkenhausen, and she is a uh, three-goal player along with Ava. So they are uh, they are uh, six goals together, and then you um, then you add um, our uh, Mary Wright on one goal and Megan on one goal. So so very strong team. And then with Jupiter, we have two A-rated players with Rebecca and Paige, and then Allison and Jenna are both four goal players. So one to zero here after our first chucker, and that was one goal scored by Ava uh, in the purple jerseys and we're live for field number one so if you uh would love to get on the facebook conversation or or you know say you know sunny love for for sunny hell we would uh we really appreciate that remember she uh she passed away she died on february 26 in normal oklahoma at the young age of 48 after battling uh with breast cancer so uh, much uh, love to her and her fam, or, uh, to uh, Sunny. She was uh, like family to all of us, and of course her family. And this day, the ladies always represent here during her legacy, and uh, so we want to make sure we spread the love back. All right, here we go back to the action, and it's been a lot of action. We had a great game for our uh, our earlier open, and I'll talk more about it during the break as we get a penalty on the play. And uh, let's see, we'll do a little breakdown for you. Okay, so they come together here, and we will bring that ball to the center. So it looks like it's going to be a uh, right-of-way violation, and they're going to take that ball over to the six-yard mark. So it will be a penalty shot in favor of Jupiter Polo. And... Beautiful afternoon for for Polo here in Southern Florida. The weather has been fabulous. And remember, we are playing, uh, well, everything from six goals to 26 goals. So you can make sure you, uh, you download the Grand Champions Polo Club app, GCPC. As here we go on the penalty four. And that's going to be shot by Jenna Davis. And just wide to the left. A nice attempt there. Remember the winner of the first two chuckers will keep playing. I mean, I apologize. We'll sit. And the runners up will keep playing. And here we go. On the knock-in. And, uh oh watch out. Looks like Jenna is <laughs> Wants or Ava wants to get running there, and nice play by Allison to slow her down. Now on the loose ball, Rebecca, and look at Rebecca going with it. Rebecca Cohen, good job, Rebecca. A rated, and she's one of our po our polo school graduates, doing a great job. I think this might be her first year of playing in the WCT. Well done again by Rebecca. <clears throat> as they uh, come around the corner. And it's going to be a breakaway play as it gets backed up and now taken forward. Two players come together. And as you can tell in the women's polo, and you see that a lot in the women's polo, as they are very, very focused on each other. And say, a ladies following the ladies. Always a woman with another woman. They 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 are very very tight on on their uh, opponent and uh, very methodical also with their passing. They do an ama amazing job using each other to, to team you know their team passing. I I compare it a lot to soccer. I love the uh, skill and level of the passing and uh, you see a lot of that in our women's polo. Another penalty on the play with 3.55 left here in our second chucker play. 
Still one to zero. Very tight game. As I said earlier, we had the open, and the open, uh, we had, well, two of our 10-goalers, Hazel Jackson and Hope Ariano, and it went down to a fifth chucker. It was uh, tied up four to four after the four chucker, and they went into the rainbow rule. Here we go, the penalty three, open goal, and, oh, bad luck there. As they got an opportunity, <clears throat> the Santa Rita team went just off to the side. So the uh, Jupiter Polo in the dark jerseys will dodge a bullet there. And back to the action as they, they try to work this one down to the center. Turned around and controlled by Ava. Ava trying to get by the team, Ava Rose, and you can tell that they're focusing on Hanks, and she is uh, very good. Watch as she turns this ball up, gets a little help here from her teammates. As you can see right there, <clears throat> that um, Lysia found Falkenhausen, allows her to take the ball, but then we get a right-of-way violation again. And with 3.11 on the clock, we will get another penalty three. So that'll put uh, Ava back on the penalty line, and she'll get an opportunity now to see if she can put her team up by two goals. Ava, looks like this one's got eyes. Yeah, that's the way you get it done, girl. Well done. Ava Rose Hinkson. I've had the opportunity to work with Ava in the polo school here at the Grand Champion Polo Club and at the Aspen Valley Polo Club. And trust me, she is an amazing rider, and she's very focused on her skills and uh, we do a lot of penalty shooting in the in the polo school, and uh, she uh, she uh, practices very very hard. Now on the move is gonna be Paige Coles trying to get out in front. What well on Paige? Nice pick up here, Paige. She gets going. Allison. Now they leave it. Look at this. What a play by Rebecca Cohen. Still keeping it moving. Cleaned up nicely. Taken into the corner. As we click down to about two minutes, it's going to be turned around by Allison Poor. Allison, nice pickup, Allison. She leaves it now for, oh, looks like it's going to be Cohen. Oh, and nice try there by Rebecca Cohen. But the ball goes just wide to the right. And we'll have another knock in for Santa Rita. So, Santa Rita with the edge here. And Ava says, all right, come on, girls, let's go. Nice pick up here by Paige once again. Coles, now they leave us one. And take it there as they almost get it going down the field. And is that ball going to stay on the field? As, oh, I apologize, he was actually... Um, you had uh, Megan Manube was actually taking the ball down the field. And then uh, Mary Wright jumped in there. I, I apologize, ladies, as they were mixing it up there. But everybody getting involved, Megan, Melissa, Mary, and Ava. And uh, with one minute, just uh, well, just about one minute left, nine, 59 seconds left here in this second chucker. You will get an opportunity, and it will be Jenna Davis. Oh, minute 29, so that's going to give them a little more time here to try to get it going. They need to get a quick goal, though, as uh, Allison looking for Jenna. Jenna now going to the near side, not an easy play. Takes it back, backed up cleanly, though. Well done, Ava. Nice back shot into the coffin corner. Turn around and controlled by Allison. 
but the time is working against her. She needs to get this ball moving forward here as Poor gets it inside the 60. Now the shot on goal picked up and cleaned up. And, oh, this is going to be a breakaway play. And Gill, what, get out of the way. Here comes <clears throat> Ava Rose Hinkson. Ooh, she overrides. They back it up. It gets met in there one more time by the Santerita team. And it looks like Megan Manube. Now they all come together in a group. And a bit of a cluster as the time clicks down here. And trying to work it down. Still, nice pickup there by Jenna Davis. Now it's going to be Allison. And I think the clock is going to go ahead and go ahead and tick down as Melissa Bound Falkenhausen puts the pressure on, but that will end it. So two to zero. And it looks like the Santarita team is going to hold on. So we'll be back for our second leg. Stay with us here on CTV Sports. Have an opportunity. Santo Bellini gonna fire one from 60. Oh, off the post.
Okay, welcome back, everybody. <clears throat> As we prepare for our second leg of the 2024 WCT, a goal, round robin, and congratulations to Santa Rita Polo as a, uh, they won uh, two to zero over the uh, Jupiter Polo team. And uh, so um, Megan Man uh, Manube, uh, Mary Wright, Ava Rose Hankson, and Melissa von Falkenhausen, they will sit and they'll be uh, ready to play in the final two chuckers. And at the moment, we have Rebecca Cohen playing number one for Jupiter. They're in the black jerseys. Number two, Paige Coles. Number three, Allison Porter. Number four, Jenna Davis. And then we have a new team now, Resolute Armstrong Farm. So we'll call them Resolute Armstrong. And playing number one will be Nicole Hyde. And playing number two, Lauren Proctor-Brown. Number three, Tiffany Armstrong. And number four, Kylie Sheehan. If, if, you, uh, if you recognize a few of those names, Tiffany and Kylie actually played on the same team and actually played very, very well. They, uh, they got edged out during the rainbow rule for the Open. And I was talking about some of those players. With the, we had the uh, 2024 WCT Open. And it was uh, Grand Champions Polo with uh, Megan uh, Manube. And uh, she, she played with Becky Schmeitz, play number two, Hazel Jackson, and Millie Hine, uh, play number four. And then Aurea Armstrong was Petra Sabatova, Tiffany Armstrong, Kylie Sheehan, and Hope Ariano. Very, very tight game. Uh, went right down. They played the rainbow rule at the end. That's where you can... Make you don't have to score a goal. You just got to make sure you hit it over your the end line you're shooting at. And uh, it went back and forth. Um, it looked like Araya was going to win, and it looked like Grand Champion was going to win, and it looked like Araya Armstrong was going to win. And then final, finally Hazel scored one. But a very good game, and of course it's all about representing the legacy of the amazing Sunny Hale. And here we go. This is our third chucker of six. And we're live for the Grand Champions Polo Club field number one, the legendary field number one. And um, <clears throat> we are off to the races here with Jupiter Polo in the black jerseys and Resolute Armstrong in the, I guess you could call it the pink jersey, the red, red and white. Um, very easy. And look at this. Rebecca Cohen has just been hitting the ball so well today and uh, can't get enough of it. As I tell her, she's one of our polo graduates and uh, she's been doing a great job. Used to field one. Here she goes again. Look at she's going for it. Come on, Rebecca. Oh, nice try. Man, Rebecca, she's got And then looks like, oh, yeah, nice try as, as uh, <clears throat> we get a finish there by Paige Cole. As it gets picked up here and taken forward by Allison on the gray pony. And poor, very strong, hits it up there to Rebecca. Rebecca. And then the drag in the finish by Paige. So then Paige, she's going to pick up her first goal of the day. And the first goal of the day for Jupiter Polo. So... Very well done. And uh, they're very, uh, like the Resolute uh, Armstrong farm jerseys here, like a pink and gray, looks like. And uh, they mix it up very well. On the move is going to be, who played very, very well, uh, Tiffany Armstrong. And Tiffany... She had uh, she had a one goal in the open uh, game, but it was it was a uh, she played very well in the front of the game, and like I said, it went back and forth, and it's great to see the uh, the two uh, ten goalers Hazel and Hope uh, out there uh, captaining their teams at a high level. Around the corner they come, picked up here and taken forward, and it's going to be uh, Nicole High with her first touch of the day. Now it'll be Paige, gets a piece of it. Tiffany also, 
Now Allison will stay on the field, yes, and poor. Allison, good pick up here. Allison, they leave it, and it's going to be Tiffany. Tiffany overrides, controlled on the boards, turned around <clears throat> by Nicole. High. Loose ball play. Nice hook by Nicole. Very well done. Take it forward again by Allison. Kylie. She'll turn it into the corner. Going to slow it down a little bit, but nice turn. Good ball control by Sheehan. Loose ball. She slows it down and pulls it off the boards. Going to take us to about 315 as they go to the center. On the move, going to be Armstrong. Oh, here comes Allison as she takes that one around the corner. Get a lot done here on the little gray mare. Poor. Slows it down. Goes to the inside. Nice little pickup by Sheehan. Two players come together. They're going to click down to 245. Very clean, open game. Rebecca gets a piece of it. Now Rebecca. And you might get a courtesy change here. And that's what I think you'll see. We'll see if we get a penalty here or not. And uh, they carry that one down. It gets picked up here by our mount official. As we have everybody turning right here. They come together. And then you get a whistle right there. So, see if they use the courtesy change also. I think you'll probably get both. You get the courtesy change and a timeout. And a penalty, I mean, on the play. Yeah, they're going to drop that ball at the 60. So, with 2.38 on the clock, 1-0 to zero here in our uh, second leg of our 2024 WCT eight goal. And uh, remember the uh, the women's polo, as we we're talking about it, is uh, the largest growing sector in polo. And uh, it was pioneered by Sunny Hale. And the WCT was founded in 2005 to help consolidate uh, women's polo and promote high-quality competition. Santa Rita Polo Farm based uh, polo school, women's polo league, and then uh, founded by Alina Carta and Melissa Ganzi. And, of course, uh, has carried on uh, Sonny's vision, developing more women players in its weekly league play. And uh, we take a lot of pride here at the Grand Champions Polo Club. And not just that, but I know Alina and Melissa and uh, two, uh, two top women polo players themselves competing at the highest levels, Alina and Melissa, and at all levels playing in all types of polo, not just um, competing in women's polo, but um, Alina and Melissa competing at the 26 goal level, which um, is the highest level um, outside of Argentina here in the United States. And, of course, playing in everything from snow polo around the world. Um, and uh, Melissa herself actually being one of the uh, – First women to win many tournaments and not just win, but also um, be a woman um, and actually play in different tournaments and countries. And I myself am, um, like to applaud um, the uh, not just the women, but Melissa Gansey herself on um, being um, <clears throat> such a pioneer herself along with Sonny she did but also uh, spreading um, 
women's polo and, and getting giving opportunities to women all around the world. Um, and so congratulations to all of them on all of their achievements. And uh, so we, uh, we really, um, really have a special po- uh, spot in our hearts for, uh, for this day. And it will continue for many years to come. So thank you for joining us. And, uh, of course, if you do, um, if you're watching today, please tell a friend. Because uh, if you didn't have, they didn't have time to get on today, they can also uh, go back and check all the replays and everything on all of our platforms here at CTV Sports, um, on our app, and of course our YouTube channels and Facebook, along with Chucker TV, CTV Sports, Grand Champions Polo Club. All right, still here in our first Chucka of our second leg. And at the moment, still one to zero. And looks like opportunity for Resolute Armstrong. And I think it's going to be Kylie. Kylie comes around the corner here. Kylie. And Kylie. Oh, just off the left side. And she started with that 60 yarder. And. Just missed it, Kylie, on five goals in the women's handicaps. And looks like we're going to have a knock-in here. It's going to be Jenna Davis to do the honors. Looking for Allison Poor. Allison. And looks like that ball is going to go ahead and follow down the far left side. And poor trying to get that ball moving down. Comes together. And a bit of a pack down on the far side. They all come together looking to get free here. As uh, looks like <clears throat> Tiffany's going to hold it up now, Rebecca. Taking forward once again as we click down under a minute and a half left here. As they come around the corner. Good pick up as again they turn the corner. And Kylie goes to the near side. And it looks like that ball's just gonna skip out of bounds. Bad luck there. So we'll see. They might end that chucker. With a change of possession, yes, yeah, so you will have a cop on the pitch. It will change the possession. So we'll end the chucker one to zero here, and uh, we'll get everyone prepared for our second chucker of our second leg. Remember, six chucker round. Suggest you make your way to Sunset Chuckles and Cocktail because this is the fun type polo match. It's where everyone's relaxed and chilling, just having a great time. We have great hors d'oeuvres and a special drink for the day.
Okay, welcome back, everybody. And, of course, this is our second chunk of our second leg. We're talking about WCT. And, of course, um, they had opportunities to to uh, interview Sonny before she passed. She also said the, the Grand Champion Pole Club and, of course, President and good friend Melissa Ganzi have always played an integral role in the WCT success. It was important to hail to hold the WCT final during the U.S. Open. The fact that the WCT finals are in Wellington during the U.S. Open sets the whole stage, Hale said. Um, women's are inspired to play here. And that happens, of course, during the World Polo League in the Triple Crown. And, of course, our women's league that uh, is played here at the Grand Champions Polo Club. Um, and um, it's, uh, you know, Grand Champions does a fantastic job. Uh, Sonny was quoted saying what it does for the for WCT is that it brings uh, legitimacy to the fact that it puts a great show. They've got uh, great fields. And you are uh, right in the center of everything. Grand Champions has taken it to the level and really gotten behind it. And, uh, you know, we appreciate, of course, back in the day, I remember when uh, when Sonny was uh, being interviewed during those days. And, um, you know, it's like I said, uh, women's poll has grown um, and, and leaps and bounds. And... Um, a uh, big pat on the back to uh, to all the women that uh, are uh, carrying the torch and and pushing it to a high level. Look at this—a shot on goal right here in the second chucker of our second leg, our fourth chucker of six here in the 2024 WCT eight goal round robin. And this ball gets picked up and taken around the corner by uh, Allison Poor. Then it gets left there and taken in. And a nice pickup here by Jenna Davis. And Jenna is going to fire that one from just outside and pick up her first goal of the day. And that's going to give the uh, Jupiter Polo uh, a two-goal lead now over the Resolute Armstrong Farm team. Now, let, well, mucho tiempo left here, though, in this second chucker uh, of our second leg. But at the moment, Jupiter Polo, they are warmed up and uh, ready to go. Picked up down here by Kylie Sheehan as Kylie will work this one down the center left in there and picked up taken over nice pick up as it looks like the coal high taking it down the coal right in front of goal look for the finish and well done the coal high she's gonna go ahead and get the high flag there and pick up her first goal of the day so i'll make it two to one as both teams coming out and shooting at the goal Ball gets all the way down his side, and Nicole with Tiffany and Kylie. Actually, Lauren Proctor Brown also right in line there. The uh, Resolute Armstrong Farm Team lined out very, very well. On the throw, on the bowl in, he gets picked up here, taken out by, and he looks like uh, Allison Poor. And they come together. We get a whistle on the play. They'll stop the action. As the sun sets here, beautiful Wellington, Florida, on field one. Across the field it goes. And Allison goes under the neck with it. It kind of bounces back off a pony. And Jenna Davis comes riding in there. And we get a whistle on the play. They're going to carry that ball down towards the north goal. So that will be in favor of the Jupiter Polo team. 
And uh, let's see, a penalty four. This will be their first penalty four of the day. They've had a couple open goals, and it looks like it's going to be, uh, they're going to pass a stick here to Jenna. Be Jenna Davis. Well done, Jenna. Down the center here. And taken out by Kylie. Kylie slowing it down. And I think a whistle or they stopped the, the play there. We'll see what they decide. It looks like they did stop it right here. As Tiffany gets a piece of it right there, leaves it for Kylie. Oh, and right there, kind of get the horse's head kind of come across. So penalty 5A in favor of the Resolute Armstrong team. And it'll be Kylie. Sheehan down the center looking for, well, she had a number of players going. Looked like Lauren Proctor Brown was going and Nicole. And once again, it gets slowed down. And another whistle on the play. This ball's going to go down the center. Still going down the center. And then you get a whistle right there. So, that'll be a penalty 5B from the center. And, uh... It'll be in favor of the Resolute Armstrong. Kylie will do the honors. And uh, good sportsmanship there. Kylie was waiting for one of the uh, Jupiter Polo players to get back on the field. As he ran down outside, turned around here, picked up and controlled now by... The Resolute team, they keep it moving there. As Tiffany had a piece of it, now Kylie. And on the move, it's going to be Paige Cole. Paige, good stroke. Paige right here trying to get around Kylie Sheen. If you can get it, Paige on the move. Got to go to the center with it off the stick to the outside. Nice pick up here by Lauren. Proctor Brown, good hook. Turn inside. Everybody coming. Ooh, and a good read there by Jenna Davis, and Jenna got to pick up the right-of-way violation, and we will have a penalty on the play. That ball was inside the 60-yard line. So let's see where they decide to place this ball. But a good read by the ladies in the black jerseys picking up the right-of-way violation. 2.32 on the clock. You might get a Courtesy change here also as Jenna is going to go ahead and tee the ball up. And I think Jenna will do the honors also. Actually hit a very good penalty for Jenna. Was down the center, a little low, but on online, her last shot. This should be an open goal. And no problem. Well done, Jen. I'm picking up goal number two here in the second chucker of our second leg, our fourth chucker of the day. Back to the center, and uh, might take advantage of the courtesy change now. Looks like a few players are going to go ahead and take advantage of it. If you uh, want to read more about the uh, WCT and, of course, um, all the info on Sonny Hale and the legacy and just the lineups that we've had, you can always uh, go to the Grand Champions. Uh, you can go to gcpolo.com. And also, don't forget about uh, downloading the app. And so you have all the information of all the uh, information, scheduling, 
and all the uh, everything you need to know about the game, uh, what's going on in the polo. And also, you'll get more to it if you want to go to uh, WCTWomensPolo.com and uh, the women's, uh, of course, the women's uh, championship tournament. And you can uh, get more info there and uh, keep you up to date with everything. All right, so on the bowl in here, we get everybody back uh, on the field. And at the moment, uh, very strong uh, chucker here by the Jupiter uh, polo, t- polo team in the black jerseys. But be careful because with 239 left across the field, they go and it's going to be taken in by Mary. Oh, I'm sorry, by the. By Brown, and she takes it in, and now we get another high flag, and I think that's going to be Kylie, but we'll take a look at it here. But that should uh, that get, we can get them within one with two left. It comes across the field by Lauren Proctor-Brown, and then Rebecca Cohen's going to move it across, but Kylie's going to jump on the loose ball play, one tap, and then leave right in front of goal, and no problem right there is Kylie Sheehan will go ahead and pick up another goal and that'll make it three to two. So with a minute 45 on the clock, now they need possession. They got it, Kylie, trying to get out in front once again. She's got Tiffany Armstrong. Tiffany and Kylie turned around here and left though, controlled by Paige Coles. Paige, she'll leave it for Allison. Taken over by Kylie once again. Sheehan going to let everybody go up in front. Now she's looking to go. Oh, Paige. Or it looks like Allison trying to steal that. Loose ball play. And uh-oh. Oh, man. I thought Allison was off to the races. Now she's got to give one play up. And Kylie's going to be able to turn this ball. Time ticking down here. One minute left. Can they get the equalizer? As I see Kylie turn around, check her shoulder there. She's actually checking the time. Uh Uh-oh, a little bit too far, and this is going to be a true breakaway. Allison poor on the move. Bay Pony, who's got the foot? As Allison now slamming on the brakes, Kylie comes flying in. Loose ball plays, gets turned around the corner by Lauren. Now still have time with 30 seconds. Lauren going forward. Tiffany going for Nicole, and it's going to be Kylie. Kylie looking to run the far right side. Can she get around Allison? Turned up nicely, though, by Jenna Davis on the move. Jenna with two goals already, a penalty two and one from the field, looking for goal number three. Jenna looking for a hat trick here in the final. Chugger's going to shoot one from about 70 yards out, and... Oh, the low flag, but that's the way you finish. And a great steal, and congratulations to Jupiter Polo. So, Jupiter Polo, they're going to get edged out of their first uh, leg um, by the Santa Rita Polo team, and then they're going to win their second leg. So, we're going to get prepared for our third and final leg, two more chuckers of Polo where we'll have Resolute Armstrong against Santa Rita Polo. And we'll be right back here on CTV Sports. Playing in a dedicated women's polo league is great for progressing your polo. It's um, great for us to play together as women, to have a chance to take to the field with some of the best polo players in the world. Um, It's helping us come together, improve our polo, and keep up playing a regular high level of polo. Like I'm learning so much. I am uh, shadowing some of the best women players um, in the sport and it's just been an incredible journey really.
have played at Santa Rita before and I love it here. It's a fantastic club. They do so much for, for not only just polo, but women's polo. So we're very excited to be here and you know, a huge thanks to Melissa and Mark for, for having us. have an opportunity. Santo Bellini gonna fire one from 60. Oh! Off the post. Okay, welcome back, everybody. And it looks like uh, well, we got both teams ready to go for our final two chuckers of the day here for the WCT. And um, we have Women's Championship Tournament. And of course, uh, well, we've had a great day as we had the Open with Grand Champion Polo against uh, Aurea Armstrong. And that went to uh, five chuckers, and they ended in the right with the rainbow rule. And then this has been uh, nip and tuck because we had the um, – we had uh, Santa Rita Polo, who's back on the field right now. And they're in the purple jerseys, and look at this. A very quick goal, <clears throat> and that's going to be, I believe, Mary. Let's see. As they go to goal here, he tries to get backed up. Oh, and he gets shot on goal right there. And no, I uh, I apologize. That's actually going to, going, going to be uh, a Lauren. Rosen, uh, Proctor uh, Brown, well done. First goal of the day for Lauren. <clears throat> and remember, they're lined up wearing the number two there. So very nice goal by Lauren. And she's a one-goal player with the women's handicaps. And uh, they, uh, they got edged out here by Jupiter Polo. But the, uh, the Santa Rita team in the purple jerseys with uh, Megan uh, Manube and Mary Wright wearing number two, Ava Rose Hinkson wearing the number three, and Melissa von Falkenhausen playing the number four. And they actually won their first uh, leg. And uh, so... At the moment, we're kind of getting all tied up here. If uh, if uh, Resolute Armstrong can can uh, can make it back now, they got to pull out there as Ava goes for the shot. Now that was a full swing, so she's okay. And um, as long as you make a full swing at the ball, 
if you if you miss it or you know you don't get a clean shot, then you're okay. As you only get the one approach. So well done, Maeva, to pull out of there. She she didn't have a she tried to make a play, but she had players coming on. So not the foul because they'd bring that ball to center. So good thinking, Ava, actually to get out of the way. Um, bad luck on the on the sixty, but <clears throat> she'll get another attempt. So at the moment right now, one to zero with uh the uh resolute in the pink and white. Santa Rita in the purple. And they look like they're uh the, the resolute team is is warmed up, ready to go after they played against the uh Jupiter Polo. So the pace of this first chucker already rocking and rolling as they come in here. Neva with an opportunity. And that ball is going to go just off to the left. So very competitive. Uh, eight goal round robin today for the WCT. And remember, you can go to, uh, of course, you can go to uh, WCT uh, Women's with an S, polo.com. For more information, of course, or you can go to GC Polo. And on the move, it's going to be picked up here by Tiffany Armstrong. Tiffany, as I said, a number of our ladies uh, playing in both played in the open and also playing here in the round robin. Met in there by, well, a pack of players. You throw a blanket over all eight players right now. Looking to get loose right here. Oh, this is a breakaway. And Kylie. On the move, she and Kylie, nice approach shot. Look for the back shot. Oh, that is a sweet shot there by Melissa von Falkenhausen. That is a sweet back shot. Great angle. Perfect power. But then we get a whistle on the play. Watch this play here by Melissa. She hits this tail shot just perfect. It comes across the field. Oh, and that's what happened right there. Just bad luck. <clears throat> Good read, though, by Kylie. Kylie's going to jump on the right of way there, but I love the angle by uh, Melissa. And remember those plays like that. Those are ones you need, you know, you need to be you need to, as, a, as a, a teammate. You know, just read those plays, <clears throat> jump on that right of way. Just a very good read by uh, Kylie. Kylie on five goals. Looks like she's going to pass the stick. Um, or we might have a timeout. I think we're going to get a timeout. It's a little timeout. Check, make sure everybody's okay. And if Kylie's going to. Yeah, Kylie's going to go ahead and, and uh, take the shot while, while, while one of her players is getting organized. Sheehan, open goal, penalty two, and no problem. So Kylie will pick up another goal for the Resolute Armstrong Farms team. And a good start by the ladies in the pink and white. <clears throat> Going to get a courtesy change here with four, uh, well, 339. And uh, looks like some of the ladies are taking advantage of it, some aren't. Remember with our Santa Rita team that came back with uh, the number one, Megan Manube. She plays, she's a one goal player. Uh, Mary Wright playing number two. She's a one goal player also. Ava Rose Hinkson um, on three goals. And Lysia von Falkenhausen on also on three goals. And uh, then you have Resolute Armstrong, who they, uh, they continued to play as uh, the Santa Rita team actually won their first leg 
So if the San Rita team was to win here, they they would actually win out. All they would win, they would win the uh, <clears throat> the round robin. But at the moment, hey, you could get a you could get a a tie, which again, it's all about the WCT and bringing all the energy together for the legacy of Sunny Hale. And but right now, it looks to me like the uh, Santarita team, <laughs> Santarita Polo, they are ready to go. And Ava is working hard right now. Ava, Rose Hinkson, picked up here, taken on, controlled by Kylie Sheehan. Ava back across the center looking for one of her teammates, picked up and controlled nicely by he looks like Mary Wright. Mary, got to go near side. Mary leaves that ball for Melissa von Falkenhausen. And she, Falkenhausen, she gets a piece of it. And Melissa, nice try across the center. Von Falkenhausen almost puts it in the goal. And then uh, Mary, or actually Megan, came flying across to try to save that one. And now they'll line up for another knock-in. We're going to click down to two minutes here in our first chucker of our third leg, chucker number five. And uh, nice riding there by Megan. Manube, she's going to get out in front here. Across they go, though, with Lauren. Proctor Brown, she gets a piece of it. Now it gets taken across by Melissa von Valkenhausen. And will that ball stay on the field? I think it's just going to skip over the board. So we will get a change of possession. So a cop on the pitch. And that will go in favor of the Resolute Armstrong team. And it's going to be Kylie Sheehan. Backed up again cleanly by Megan. Manube getting a lot done here on the little on the little gray pony. And they come together here. And also Melissa on the bay ponies, dark bay pony everywhere. Turned around quickly by Ava Rose. Hankson trying to get through there. Kylie meets her. And then you get a whistle. And that's going to be before the 30-second horn. So they will get a possession play here. Watch the turn now. Let's see what happens here. Ava is going to turn this ball around quickly. And she turns it right there. And you can see right there that, that Kylie was still sideways. Ava Rose Hinkson going to go for a run here. Oh, we got a foot race. Who's got the pony power? Kylie's going to get out in front. Backs it up cleanly. Loose ball play. Everybody turning. Armstrong, she gets a piece of it. Now it's going to be Megan. Then they come together once again. Turned in, Kylie. Loose ball. And whistle on the play. But that will be within the 30 seconds. So we will find out what our mount official decides on that one. And get ready because we got one more chucker left. And we will find out who is going to take home the 2024 WCT 8 goal round robin. Stay with us. We'll be right back here on CTV Sports.
All right, everybody, here we go. Our sixth and final trucker <clears throat> of our round robin. And uh, been very close, very evenly matched teams. And it looks like Ava Rose hanks in three goals, is going to go ahead and uh, kind of decide what's going on here. Two to zero. We had two quick goals by the Resolute team, one by uh, Kylie on a penalty two, and another by Lauren Proctor Brown on uh, a nice goal from the field. And uh, so controlling this uh, final leg, but remember, if you break it down, we had Jupiter Polo go up against um, the Santa Rita Polo team, and it was one... Two to uh, zero in that, that uh, and then it was uh, Jupiter Polo went up against um, Resolute Armstrong, and it was three to one. So and they were actually pretty, much pretty even right there, and now we're in our final leg. So right there, another goal being scored, and wow, Resolute. Is doing a great job here. Is this ball just gets left with Kylie? Sheehan gets hooked, and then they leave it for Brown, and then the shot on goal by Armstrong. So mixing it up very, very well here. The uh, Resolute um, Armstrong team, and so at the moment. As we said, we uh, we have a very evenly matched round robin. It'll all come down to the uh, the end here, you know, if uh, if Santa Rita can pull it out. But at the moment, this uh, the Resolute Armstrong team looking looking very very strong. Well, when it comes in the net goals, on the uh, loose ball play, picked up here. Santa Rita trying to get it going with Megan. Now they'll leave it for Ava. And, oh, Ava's got some room to work here on the bald face. Black Pony. Nice pickup here by Megan. Manube, Megan. Well done, Megan. Keep it going. Oh, nice try, but taken out and turned around by Kylie. So... They will come together, and we get a whistle on the play. So that will uh, stop the action right here. They came together. And if you watch right here, Abe is going to back it up. Loose ball play. Then they come right there, and you can see that uh, Megan had the right of way over the uh, Resolute Armstrong player is coming from left to right. This will be a penalty shot in favor of Ava. And Ava, will it carry? And, whoa, they're all coming together there. Now, it looks like the ball may was off to the right side. So, no whistle on the play. And they'll keep that moving. And now taken out by Kylie. Sheehan. Kylie. And they take it down. Picked up again by Kylie again. So Sheehan. Gonna find, look at this, Armstrong out in front again on the gray pony. Tiffany gets it inside the 60. They come together, nice ride off there. Everybody's hooked up there by Mary. And off to the races they go on the far side as they run this one down. Once again, they come around the corner. Kylie. Still has time. Sheehan looking for Armstrong. 
Ava gonna get over there. Ava Rose thinks it with the back shot. Turn the corner. And it's gonna be Melissa. Von Falkenhausen gets it down, and that ball will it come off the field? It's gonna just gonna trickle off the field. And it'll go to the knock in. It's gonna be Ava. So as they work this one down, it gets turned around the corner. Ava's going to sneak this one out. I'm liking the bald face, uh, Dark Bay. She's getting a lot done, Ava. Rose Hankson on that one, on this pony. And they come together. We're going to click down to about under 3.30 now. Turned under the neck by Kylie. Kylie still has time. Sheehan. Looking for the pop shot. Lays that one inside. Can it get finished? Oh, we're just going to oh, just go off the field there, but a nice attempt by Lauren Proctor Brown to keep it on the field. And once again, they, uh, they have uh, come together here. And I said as close as these two teams, of, of all these teams have been, around the corner, it's going to be Kylie again. Kylie, backed up cleanly by Santarita. Kylie just waiting to see if she could uh, to get it moving down the field. She does a great job. Now when they come together one more time, Ava, I know Ava's trying to get a breakaway here. Uh, she's got... <clears throat> Melissa in the rumble seat following behind her. Again, neutral polo being played here with a three to zero lead, and you might get a courtesy change coming with 205 now to two minutes. Backed up cleanly. Met again in there by Kylie. Kylie's going to go ahead and hit one downfield. Look at this. She's got Armstrong. Will that ball stay on the field? I think so. And, wow, what a game. What a two chuckers here by the Resolute Armstrong team. Tiffany picking up goal number two, but four goals scored here. And that's going to push Resolute to a, a high level here. And that's what they needed because – at the moment, um, all the teams have one one win and one loss. So with 115 on the clock, it's going to make it four to zero. Is that was Tiffany? And back to the inside, turned around, and it's going to be Kylie again. Kylie. Shot on goal, and the clock's ticking down here. Ava wants to get a run. I know she's been waiting to get a run on this little bay pony. <laughs> here she goes. Nice pick up here by Ava on the far side. And can Santarita keep it moving? But this is where the Resolute Armstrong team has been very strong. Just kind of shutting down. But look, they're going to keep it going. Well done here by Megan. Keeping it going, Megan. Manube gets it inside. And Megan works it in. The clock ticking down. Melissa's going to try to slow him down. Mary's on the move. And the clock goes tick, tick, tick. And that will end it right there. So, two more goals. So, four goals on the scene. And that makes them a gives them a plus four. They this what a what a what a game here. Um and uh wow, this is a very, very tough, tough round robin and very uh evenly matched because you went Jupiter polo against um
Santa Rita Polo, and it was uh, two to zero. So that gave uh, Santa Rita Polo a plus two, and and Jupiter Polo minus two when you when you're working around Ralvin out. Of course, always winners here at the WCT they work it out. But and then uh, then you went into the second round where you had uh, the Jupiter Polo. Well, right here you had uh, the Jupiter Polo. And uh, they were just, uh, they played a very good game, and they were uh, <clears throat> against Santa Rita. And you see all the prizes out there. They actually tied there, and then you also had you went you had to go net goals because Resolute they beat Resolute two to zero, so they went plus two and a minus two. And then here in the final one, you had four goals to zero, so that was a plus four for Resolute Armstrong and a minus four for Santrita. So in the end, it was so very close. So we're gonna work out all the numbers here. We'll check with our sideline correspondents. And, of course, you can see us getting ready for our trophy presentation. So, once again, I'm Dale Schwetz, and I speak for everyone here at CTV Sports. So, I say thank you for making us leaders in polar broadcasting. And always remember here at CTV Sports, especially when you can see uh, such a special occasion here uh, representing the WCT and Sunny Hale um, and her legacy that you understand why we always say we love the polo. So stay with us here as we are preparing for our trophy presentation, and we'll be back.